biggest challenge with AI is being able to execute on AI initiatives. Why? Because adopting AI is one thing, but being able to operationalize it is another. Hi, I'm Robert Oakblom, Black Belt for OpenShift Cloud Services at Red Hat. Let's talk about making AI and ML development work as smoothly as traditional DevOps. And I'm Campbell Vertesi, Microsoft's CTO for the partnership with Red Hat. Azure Red Hat OpenShift is a jointly engineered, managed, and supported service between our two companies, so we're all on board with giving your data scientists and your engineers the right tools to collaborate consistently and securely across teams, all the way into production. So, Robert, where do we start? Great question. Let's head over to the light board and have a look. Let's imagine we work at a big bank. We have all the classic banking services. However, we have something new and exciting in development. It's a buy now, pay later service. Mm -hmm. You know, the one where you buy something online and you pay later. The challenge here is that we need to assess thousands of loans within seconds. To do this, we have developed our own AI model using our private data. All right, so we have our app mm -hmm. with the, the uh, user interface, and somewhere else, we have our AI model that's trained on our data. Correct. That looks like a disk. It's Correct. a stack of disks. It's really what it is. All right. How do we get these two together? Yeah. So this is where Azure Red Hat OpenShift comes in, or as we like to call it, ARO. Aero is an application platform that gives our team all the things they need for a modern development experience. At the core, we have Kubernetes. It's sort of like the engine of the car, if you will, but OpenShift then adds all the things you need around it, like for logging, monitoring, etc. What is really cool with Aero is that it's a managed version of OpenShift, hosted on Azure. And it's a first party Azure service, which means that we can use the normal Azure tools like the AC CLI or the portal. Right. Of course, in production, you're going to be doing this with Terraform, with Ansible, True. Bicep, True. tools like that, right? Exactly. So I know Arrow, and I know how it supports the normal DevOps process, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but what about for our AI model? How do we handle development, updates, uh, and push to prod of that? Yeah, that's a good question. So in the app world, we have DevOps, and that is something that OpenShift handles out of the box. And then in the AI world, we have something called MLOps. To get that on ARO, we can install something called Red Hat OpenShift AI. This enables our ARO cluster to not only have a handle the DevOps cycle, but also the AI and MLOps cycle. So what this means is because OpenShift can run anywhere. It can run in the cloud with ARO or on our data center. And we have OpenShift AI on top of OpenShift. That means that also we can do our AI development anywhere. For example, here we might have our private data in our data center, so we can mm -hmm. build the model here. But when we go to production, we need more scale. So ARO and Azure has more capacity, so we can host the model over here. Uh, this makes sense. So if we have OpenShift AI, mm -hmm. we'll abbreviate it as OSAI, because I just don't have that much room, <laughs> in both environments, yep. then we can really focus on our application on developing our service instead of reinventing reinventing the wheel exactly. of AI development exactly. lifecycle. Yeah. This makes great sense. So we have, I can actually now put our, our uh, AI model up here as well. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like yep. that. And it's going to be the same everywhere because yep. containers have everything they need to run the same in every environment. Exactly. But this is just one model, right? I mean, it's an application. It's an agentic solution. You need to mix and match with lots of other models. So yeah. where do they come into the picture? Yeah. So this is where something really cool with Azure comes in. So we have OpenShift AI, but on Azure, we also have Azure AI services. Hmm. That enables us to use pay-as-you-go LLMs, ready to use, and we have over 10,000 of them. So for example, you might have heard OpenAI or Anthropic or Meta, all these ready-to-use models, all of them are available here. So all we need to do is to install the SDK and talk to the models. So then we can use both our own model and off-the-shelf models. 
That's excellent. And Azure AI has its own lifecycle tools to manage those off-the-shelf models. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's really fantastic. So we have our agent. I guess yep. we'll keep, let's use this color again. So we have our agent Yep. in the cloud now on OpenShift AI. Mm -hmm. And like they say in Ghostbusters, we've got to get these two together. <laughs> yeah. So next step would be to set up authentication and authorization. So what would you think? Should we set up API tokens and store them somewhere? And No, I'm going back to Ghostbusters. That would be very bad. Right. Yeah. Let me tell you about the Twinkie. Okay. Uh, manually setting up your own API tokens is a great idea if you like spending your weekends and nights rotating API keys by hand. Yeah. Yeah. It's a terrible, terrible thing to do in prod. <laughs> Uh, and so Arrow supports managed identities, mm -hmm. which is a concept we use uh, all across Azure. That's great. Your, your turn with the uh, whiteboard marker. So with a managed identity, uh, it uses short-lived tokens that use the uh, principle of least privilege to give only the permission that's needed to any given service. And everything about rotating your, uh, rotating your keys and updating your keys is all handled uh, automatically for you. Uh, so it's a big improvement on your ops load. Exactly. Tried to trick you there, but I, you didn't get me. So <laughs> what we have, what we have with managed identity is actually used inside ARO as well. Mm -hmm. So in ARO, we have operators that handle how the ARO cluster is set up. For example, you have the storage operator. It handles storage. So it only has the permissions required to do the storage parts. It cannot create new VMs or something like that. Right. So our agent can only access the specific models that exactly. are set up for it in Azure AI and my custom-made model, which I can still move around and develop an update between all my environments. Exactly. In the end, managed identity enables us to enhance security and not have to care about managing secrets. That sounds great. Let's go back to the studio. Yeah. So let's recap. OpenShift AI helps you bring the goodness of Azure Red Hat OpenShift DevOps processes to your AI and ML projects, letting you develop your AI agents in whatever mix makes sense of your own data centers and the Azure Public Cloud. Combined with Azure AI services, you have access to more than 10,000 other models that you can use to mix and match your complete agentic solution. To learn more, check out the links in the description and watch the other videos about Aero in this series.